It's DK and I'm back. And if you hate and you whack, it's time for us to get to this money. No cap. It's time for us to go out here and get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. While you're here and you're tuning into the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. It's time for us to go out here uh, and scope. Now, we do have our first slow from the carry company. We're going to drive 26 deadhead miles. 50 miles loaded, so 76 miles all together for 150. About to pull up and get a grip, G. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the pickup. Hopefully, you got this joint ready so we can run it up. Mess around and run it up. We trying to run this joint up, baby. <laughs> How you doing, boss? We meet again. I saw you last time I was here. Yeah, right? <laughs> you always over here. You might as well get a job here, huh? How you doing, sir? Um, I have a load to go to uh, Provisor and Mokina. Uh-huh. You already know what time it is. My guy about to pull up so we can go out here. Uh, run it up, baby. You trying to run it up, baby. You trying to get these books like some more off. You haters get off me. You did. We gone. It's time for us to pull up so we can get in our zone. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. We have to drop off, baby. Y'all saw that rainstorm. I'm talking about it was raining so hard. Pause. I'm talking about it was shh on my way here, baby. It was real, but hopefully it doesn't rain again. We heard trying to get these dividends. Yeah, how you, you doing, know. boss? Uh, how you doing, boss? I'm doing great. I can't complain. I woke up this morning. I have a little job to you guys from Zion, cool. from Dynacoil. Perfect. Thank you Is very much, sir. No. Yes, yeah, like if you want to, we can lift it out. If you, yeah. I know you don't want to get the fork truck and all that. Like too much. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. You have a good one, boss. Yes, sir. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck! I ain't gonna lie. The carry company low-key took me up top. I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. So normally they text me to load and everything, but this time they actually called me when I was on my way to jump off that first one, right? I'm riding around and I'm getting it. I'm in the highway. Riding around and I'm getting it. I'm riding around, I'm riding around and I'm getting it. They're like, uh, we need your help. Can you help us out? We do have a load to pick up in Chicago and drive to Bridgeview. And they're like, it's like 76 miles all together. But guess what? I'm like, uh... I don't know. Give me 175 and I'll do it. I'm, they're like, okay, let me call you back. If we get it, I'll let you know. So then they reached out to me and said, you, we, we did get the load. Go ahead, drop that one off, and then come back and then go get the other one. Guess what? I found out later on that the pickup location is the airport. And y'all, if you're new to the channel, then you don't know. I'm going to tell you right now. I cannot stand going to the airport because everything takes way too long for you to go out there and get it all. But we got to do what we got to do. I don't want folks sick like the flu. So, it is not actually 76 miles. That was 76 miles from where I was driving from right then. So it's actually 35 deadhead miles, 15 miles loaded, so 50 miles all together for 175. It's time for the pull up to the airport and pick up the prize. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the airport, baby. I do not want to do this, but we're going to see what happens this time. Last time I came here was absolutely terrible. Hopefully it's not this time. We are here. You guys in line? Yes. Or? You making a video? Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube? So you waiting for him or you already talked to him? I'm waiting for him to get the paperwork, so. Okay. So I'm behind him? Or you guys? You know, you know, after, after oh, okay, I'm just making sure. I don't want to cut nobody. Don't cut the line, man. It's going to be, uh, we'll be back on the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you do, you do blog or what? Yeah, YouTube, like doing deliveries and stuff. It's called uh, Cars and Careers. Yeah. You can look it up. Cars. Cars. I'll type it. Yeah, it's good. 
The best thing on YouTube, man. Tell me. <laughs> Crazy bricks. Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. There you go. You up. Yes, sir. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Go ahead and hit this right here. So what do you do? Oh, you do sprinters? Yeah, I got a sprinter. This mine right here. Uh huh. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's everybody, they see it on the internet, they think it's just gonna be easy, and then it just, see, with me, with the van, I worked my way, I had a car, I did DoorDash, and I worked my way up to, to the van. So I ain't just go and just buy the van. And it just takes a process, man. You just can't just jump out there and do it. And you gotta have some money already before you start. For sure, for sure. I remember when I started, I had 60,000 60, cash. Mm -hmm. And I started buying trucks. Mm -hmm. And in about three months, I don't know because you work with brokers, they pay 45 days plus. Then you have to pay oh, drivers, yeah. then you have to pay fuel, insurance, mm -hmm. all costs, right? Mm -hmm. So by the time the, the money came back, it was too late. I was running dry. Yep. This is for a warehouse. Okay. This copy for you. Okay, I'm good to go? Yeah, just sign it. Sign anywhere. Thank you. Sign right here. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You guys have a good one. And just like that, my guy about to pull up so we can run it up. He's about to get his rights. So we get busy. Phone no box. Good. That's perfect. That's it. Thank you very much, sir. You have a great one. Put these joints right here. I ain't gonna box. I ain't gonna box. I ain't gonna box. Put these joints right here. Put a bungee around it again, so I won't have to strap it up and all that stuff. Because they, they're kind of loose. Loose says that loose don't get me started. I don't get paid to work. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Then like that. Knock, 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 knock. And don't get me started. What y'all know about that? Know what I mean? Might be doing around. Well, and just like that, it's time to pull up. I love going out here to run it up. Let's go. How you doing, sir? I have a load to drop out to you guys from the airport. Yeah. It's like four little boxes. I'm in a Sprinter van. Okay, man. Let me just do it. Pull down, pull down there. Pull down there. Door. Okay. The, the last one or the second one? This one. Okay. All right. Appreciate you, boss. <laughs> yes, sir. I told you they small little boxes. You know the way I see it, the smaller the better, balls. Like, the easier. Just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it real with you, cuz. This time we went to the airport, it was not that bad. And it was only not that bad because I was actually talking to the guy in there. He has 30 semis. He had to get busy. And he said that his guy in Canada has 800 semis. 800, baby. 800, show you who's running. Now, we see their success. We should see that one of them has 30 trucks, 30 semis, and the other one has 800s. The question is, how did they get there? They got there by keeping their eyes on the prize. And he even told me a story about how he started in 2006. He had two semis and 60,000. He said he ran through that money so fast. That's why I be telling you guys all the time. Just having enough money is not enough money. If you have 20,000 just to get the van, what you gonna do after you get the van? If something happened, the jig is up. So you guys want to keep that in mind. And sometimes you have to scale back to move forward. So he had two semis. He had 60,000. He ran through that. He kept on going. He scaled back to one truck. And then he kept on moving forward. And now he has 30 trucks. So when you guys are out there, just because it's going bad right now does not mean it's going to always go bad. It's just a moment right now. But you got to stay down and stick around, baby. You got to stay down and stick around and don't, and don't, and do not give up and do not quit. It's not going to be easy. Everything looks easy on these videos. Yes, I make it look easy. I just joke with it. But this stuff takes a lot of time and it's a lot of editing that goes on into these videos. So if you're going to be out there, you're going to start a business, not just this business, any business. So there may be some times where you have to re-evaluate things and look at everything, like stand back, step back a little bit. Sometimes we right here on it, you gotta step back and look at everything. Like, you gotta rethink really about this stuff. This ain't going right right now, this kinda messed up. So now I gotta scale back a little bit to move forward. 
exactly this is a prime example the youtube channel when we first started we were doing one so this is what we did when we first started youtube we were doing one video a week of house reviews then we started doing one week uh one video a week of car reviews then after that once we started gig work we recorded a video and dropped a video every single day for a whole year 365 days every single year every single day drop that then we're like we're not getting the video we're not getting the views on the weekend so like okay we're gonna take off i believe hey my business partner said this i did not want to do it i ain't gonna lie i did not i i'm just like y'all i did not want to stop dropping a video every day because i'm like if i stop dropping a video every day i'm gonna lose out i'm gonna make less money on this so she convinced me we started dropping the videos monday through friday then we had to reevaluate again Friday and Thursday is suspect on some of these days. Wednesday ain't, ain't hitting that good, and Friday ain't, ain't going that crazy. So we got to scale back again. So now we drop three times a week, and everything has gotten better for us. So sometime, maybe we might start dropping every day again later. I don't know. But you have to reevaluate things if you're going to be in business. So keep that in mind while you're out there on the grind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, please smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the crew, before we go, one more time, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. I love for you guys to watch us go out there uh, and go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.